He is in just about every Hall of Fame that there is. The Country Music Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll, Rockabilly. If you were any taller, you could be in the Football Hall of Fame, oh, I imagine. Yay. I'd like that. <laughs> that would be fun. As a child, she performed with Elvis on the Opry. The Beatles opened for her in the 60s. And after winning virtually every award in the music business, Golden Platinum Records, and a Grammy for Lifetime Achievement, Brenda Lee is still just a hometown girl to us here in Nashville. We Thank are you. so thrilled to have you what here with nice us. What a nice compliment. Thank well, you. Well, I mean, you are. You are. You're a legend, but, but you're just one of us. And we love I that. Am, and I, uh, I consider Nashville my home, even though I'm a Georgian by birth. Mm -hmm. I've been here since 56, so uh, I'm a Tennessean. Yes, you are. I yes, love you every are. every minute of it. I am so surprised to hear that you've never done a concert in your adopted hometown. You've never done a complete show here in Nashville, although you no. played the opera a million times. Uh, well, I've, I've done a lot of benefits mm -hmm. and because I love to give back. But... I've always been a little, I had a little bit of trepidation to play, uh, to play a paid show. Why? My Because I thought, well, I live <laughs> here and, you know, people see me and maybe they won't pay to see me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but when the hall asked me, you know, to, to do the show, um, and the Oak Ridge Boys are going to do one, Ricky Skaggs is going to do one, Lone Star, mm -hmm. it's going to be a great season for the hall for Deck the Halls, and uh, we hope everybody comes out. My show's December the 9th, mm -hmm. and come on and rock around that Christmas tree with me a minute. Yeah, and we gotta talk about that iconic song. Of course, we're talking about Deck the Hall for the Country Music Hall of Fame, yes. uh, and, and you'll have to sing Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Absolutely. Tell us the story behind that song. That was written by Johnny Marks, who also wrote Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Holly Jolly Christmas, many other Christmas songs. Um, and he gave that to me when I was 12 years old. Wow. And we recorded it and released it, and it did kind of, you know, uh, after Sweet Nothings, it did kind of good. And then after I'm Sorry, it really did well. And now it is the number third Christmas song of all time. Isn't that so, incredible? Yeah, and it's getting ready to celebrate almost its 60th birthday. Wow. Yeah. So. I, that's just remarkable to think about. Yeah, it got a whole new audience, you know, with Home Alone mm -hmm. oh, back in 1982. Right. Yes. So the doors were open again for for a younger generation mm -hmm. to thankfully discover it. Yes. And uh, it's just been a blessing, Thanks. as have all my songs. Sure. Yeah. So for your concert on December 9th, uh -huh. uh, what else will you be singing? What other favorite Christmas songs do you have? I'll be doing uh, my regular show, mm -hmm. uh, which will be a lot of the the songs that people recognize me from. We got to hear I'm Sorry oh, and Sweet Nothings. Absolutely, Nathans. absolutely. And then I'll be doing a whole Christmas show as well. And I get the audience on, a lot of the members of the audience on stage and uh, we have fun with them. I bet you do. And they're funny. Yeah. But people can be really funny when you surprise them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll be good. Yeah. And to be able to do it in the Country Music Hall of Fame in their new theater. Uh, yeah. I mean, how wonderful. Well, it, it's pretty exciting, you know, when you, when you, it would be exciting anyway. It's the Country Music Hall of Fame. But to be a member and, uh, you know, to be in there, yeah. it's, it's pretty um, mind-boggling. And with this wonderful new theater uh, that we have now that uh, CMA so generously donated the funds to build, um, it's, it's magnificent. The sound is wonderful and it's just a, it's a great place. Yeah. When you look back at your career, I mean, certainly it's not over, but, but when you look back, uh, what do you want to be remembered for? Um, you know what? I, I guess I should say I want to be remembered for my career, and I do. Um, but I just, I want to be remembered as a good mom, a good wife, a good friend, a good daughter. Um, a, you know, all the things that us girls always dream of when we're growing up and and all but uh, you know in my career um, I've had I, I realize those dreams every day I just to be able to sing to me is a dream yeah. because when I realized what a dream was finally when I was little th that's what I wanted to do mm -hmm. without any notion of selling records making money I didn't know what all that meant <laughs> uh, but the public has been so generous to me and um, 
we can't do it without y'all. Well, so y'all <laughs> I can't imagine music without you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for so many years of great entertainment and Thank more you. to come. And keep Thank on you. rocking, Meryl. Oh, I will. Okay. I will with you. Thank you. <laughs> Tickets go on sale today for all the holiday activities over at the Country Music Hall of Fame, including Brenda's concert on December 9th. You can get all the details online at countrymusichalloffame.org. Uh,